Hello everyone, Chancellor Robo and Max here. That's right, today we are facing off against our old quarterback, Jay Cutler. He was actually having a pretty decent year this year. Uh, at least better than years past and what caused us to move on from him. But as you can see, the Browns are having a terrible season. Very Browns-like, 2-8. and eight. But Broncos aren't doing a whole lot better, so we hope we can beat them. Lamont Jordan had a good run first down. And on third down, that's a wide open Joe Jaravicious. Best name in football. I say that about too many people. But <laughs> Lamont Jordan now runs over Jamal Smith. Are you kidding me? Come on, Jamal Smith. Lamont Jordan's going to get a first down on the next play. And on that first down, they're going to hand it off to Lamont Jordan again. We need to fix our run defense in a big way in the next offseason. A huge concern. And that's Terrell Owens. Now on the Browns, I'm sure he's not happy about being 2 and 8. Jay Cutler, though, is going to have all day, and Helen Winslow runs over Jamal Smith, too. Now, Jay Cutler on second and goal. That's a sack. Technically, he tried to run it in, and Lamont Jordan on third down is going to get stopped. So a great goal line stand there by the Broncos. Phil Dawson's kick is up and good. So, we're losing to a 2-8 Browns. It's not what you want to see, but let's get back in it. That's going to be a good catch by Solomon Jordan on first down. Bring it to a third and two, and Miller's going to try and go deep, and that is not a good throw. Holly with the interception. Lots of jolly, I hope. But they do nothing but get penalties on the first two downs. So Jay Cutler on third and long. Going to find Jared Vicious over the middle. Soft coverage. Going to get him back in field goal range. And the 55-yarder is no good by Phil Dawson. So our terrible interception has no bad consequences for us. So let's get it back going. Second and nine. Now we're going to find Shanko, who's been a great little starting tight end for us after Nate Brooks been bad this year. And another catch there by Shanko. Let's go. First and ten now. Benny Browns actually can get some yards. I love it. Running game disappeared last week. Let's get going again. And Vinny Bryant with a first down now. Good block in there by Terrell Smith, our fullback. First and ten now. Shanko over the middle. Another good gain. So let's bring it to a third and five now. We'll try and get a first down and we'll get a lot more. Solomon Jordan, great catch. Touchdown, Broncos. And look at those pancakes. All those offensive linemen I hop, why don't you? This <laughs> is Jordan now. He's going to get tackled after a short gain. Bring it to a third and seven. And Jordan, they're going to run it on third and seven. That's how little they respect our run defense, which is fair. But it didn't work out for him as Chris Miller's going to have a lot of space. Make it a second and six. And Miller's going to get sacked. So, so much for all that. Held on to the ball too long. Bring up a third and 16. We're going deep to Pearson. And that's not going to work out. So the Browns have good field position. And Lamont Jordan's going to get sandwiched. And now it's a third and seven for the Browns. Jay Cutler, what can you do? He's going to try and find Edwards and he will. And we're almost at a two-minute warning already. The Browns melted so much clock on that first drive. It's just been going since then. And that is a terrible throw by Jay Cutler. Throws it to his old teammate, Nick Ferguson. And we get the ball right back. Nick Ferguson's second interception in three weeks. Let's go. And what a throw there by Chris Miller. Threading the needle. And another great throw to Solomon Jordan right there. Minute 30 left, what can we do? We're going to try and find Pearson, and what a throw. Easy catch there. And let's go. Another second and ten now, and Bryant's going to get a few yards. Bring it to a third and eight. We'd love a touchdown here, and that's almost an interception, which I would have not loved. So bring out Matt Prater, and the kick is up and good. What can the Browns do? Hopefully nothing. We can get a nice stop right here. Second and 13 after a sack by Doomerville. And that was a beautiful pass by Jay Cutler. He can show that sometime. And that's a wide open Jared Vicious again. Same route. We cannot stop it. They're already within the 25. Make it the 27 on third and 10 now. Cutler's going to throw in a triple coverage. Not going to pay though. We'll set up a field, Phil Dawson kick, and that kick is up and good. 44 yards, and it is a 10-6 ball game. 
I, I would hope we would be a little bit more ahead, but runs like that are not going to help our cause. As Chris Miller's going to try and find Pearson, and that's a good catch. Third and six now. Chris Miller going to find Pearson in a first down. Let's go. First and ten now, and again, we're trying to set up this running game desperately. Play action now, and good coverage, but we're going to find Shanko still. Comes back to the ball. What a catch right there. And Vinny Bryant's going to get blown up and fumbles it. Oh, no. Cameron Wembley with the recovery. Vinny Bryant, get on the bench. You've been fumbling way too much. And Jay Cutler showing the wheels. Third and five. Browns, what can you do? Hopefully nothing. But all day in the pocket, you can do his taxes and still almost throws an interception. That was quite the dive there. Very, very theatrical. As Solomon Jordan's can get a good gain there on second down. Second and ten now. Dwayne Shaw, what can you do? He's actually going to get seven almost. Eight, let's make it. Third and two, and we actually get a first down running the ball. You love to see it. That was not a good throw, so make it a second and ten. And play action here, and we're going to try and find Shanko in another good catch. Let's go. Third and three. Dwayne Shaw is not going to get it. Of course, so I don't know why we thought we could run for two first downs on that drive. Did not work out. And Kellen Winslow's gonna get a decent gain, but bring up a third and five now. Jay Cutler all day in the pocket. He's gonna run for it and he's gonna get it. Pass rush is non existent. Browns have a good offensive line, and look at Jay Cutler running again. Showing off those wheels. He's trying to beat us bad. You know it. And it's the fourth quarter now. Still a 10-6 game. But a long yardage here after a penalty. And Terrell Owens is only going to get a few. I'd throw it to him over and over if I was him. But they have not really. And that is some good pressure finally. Second 11 on our possession. We're going to find Terrell Smith. And I don't know what. That guy was trying to tackle some demons it looks like. I respect that. Dwayne Shaw. He's going to go, and he's going to get a first down. Great run there by Dwayne Shaw. Second-year player, Pierre Thomas, is going to fumble it. Luckily recovered by Shanko. We cannot have that happening, so bring in Darren Sproles. I just need a running back who won't fumble the ball. It's all I need, and Shanko's wide open, but it's underthrown. No. That should have been a touchdown instead. It's an interception, and that was almost a safety. They're uh, backed up to their two-yard line, and they're going to try and go deep, but good coverage there by Foxworth. Third and 12 now. Try and get a safety. Not quite, but we're going to have great field possession after that punt. And Dwayne Shaw, you know, he might have to start for us next week. He's looking decent for us, and that's all we need is Chris Miller's going to escape, and I swear I slid on that. We do not get it, and the Browns do get the ball right back. And we cannot bury them. It's still a four-point game. A touchdown will make it a three-point game for them. So that's what they're hoping to do. Third and three and Lamont Jordan making people look silly with the slowest run in history. Two-minute warning. Jerome Harrison's going to get a decent game. Make it a third and five. What can they do? And Jay Cutler's going to have a wide open Braylon Edwards now. But it was holding. Thank goodness. Third and 15, I like our odds a bit more. And they're going to try and... They're just going to throw it to Carl Pima. This is a, you're not a Bronco anymore, buddy. And that was a terrible play call. Play action. We get in there with Jarvis Moss. And we're going to try and run this ball out. Third and two. Of course, we don't get it. Why would we? It was very close, though. So uh, there you go. Matt Prater, team MVP, is going to make it a seven-point game. And the Browns need a touchdown. Jay Cutler, can you lead a game-tying drive against your old team? Let's see it. Third and three, 40 seconds left. Jay Cutler's almost going to get sacked. So another fourth down. Last gas, and they're going to run it. And that is not going to work out. You get denied, Lamont Jordan. Our run defense finally comes through, and we win an ugly one. But... Winning ugly is better than losing ugly, so that's how it goes. <laughs> Chris Miller didn't have a very good game. Our whole team didn't have a very good game. Dwayne Shaw, though, that's some hope. Five yards a carry. 
that's enough to probably win you a starting job next week as Shanko was our big receiver. I didn't see that one coming, but again, we cannot be having those types of games, but I think it just shows where we are this year as a team. Very sad. I had high expectations and we're having struggles against the two and eight Browns team. But that's how it goes. But we are above 500 again, six and five, and we're going against another bad team. They look terrible on offense. We look terrible running. We look terrible on defense, but we're just got to keep winning and try and get to the playoffs. That's all the goal is. And I hope to see you guys next week, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.